ncreview.com. Hi, this is Miriam Knight of New Consciousness Review. I'm speaking with Jonathan Goldman, who has been a pioneer, or the pioneer, in sound healing for over 30 years. He has created over 30 books and CDs and in the field of healing and sound transformation. And he believes that his latest book, The Divine Name, is the culmination of his work. Jonathan, what is The Divine Name? Hi, Miriam. The divine name is basically a universal sound composed entirely of vowels that resonates the chakras, the subtle uh, bodies of uh, our system, and it also sounds strikingly like the personal name of God found in the Old Testament. This is a name that became lost and forgotten for almost 2,500 years, and I believe I've discovered it. Well... <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Why is it so important? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, the reason it is so important, it's number one, the most, I've been working in this field of sound healing for about 30 years, and I've worked with sounds from almost every different tradition, and this is simply the most sacred and powerful sound that I have uh, encountered, and it is also a sound that is universal because it is made of vowel sounds, which are, if you like, found in every language, every tradition. And uh, it is also a sound that um, when people learn how to make it through using the Divine Name book and the instructional CD that comes along with it, they can actually feel uh, the same experience as I did when I first uh, created the sound, which was that the sound would come go from the top of my head down to the uh, base of my body and then all the way back up again, uh, out the top of my head, which is outrageous. So this is, a, if you like, a mutually shared experience that people can have, which puts them in touch, if you like, not only it resonates and balances the energy centers of their body, but it puts them in touch with divine energy. It's that powerful and that sacred. So do people incorporate that into their prayers, or how do they use it? Well, people are able, and I actually have a, if you like, uh, a portion of the book dedicated to what could be perceived of as being, if like, the most uh, effective way of doing prayers. The actual word prayer actually means to commune with the divine, and uh, my friend Greg Braden has uh, done some wonderful work with the use of... Uh, sound and prayer we've we've of course worked together and other people have done this as well so that the real function of the divine name my greatest hope is that ultimately it can be used on a level by groups of people to make sound to actually change the very fiber of reality on this planet in these most tumultuous times bringing us to places of peace happiness and harmony well, it, it's interesting. You mention in your book Dr. Emoto's work, who wrote, who talked about the effect of words on water, of which we are composed uh, 90 plus percent. So um, this sounds like it would be like a turbocharged effect <laughs> on the body. What is your hope? Um, beyond just healing of individuals? What is your hope for the use of this word? Well, once again, Marion, I think that um, if we can get together and collectively work as a people sounding the divine name, learning to sound the divine name, which, as I said, is something everyone can learn to do, and it's an extraordinarily powerful and sacred sound that resonates our etheric centers and puts us in touch with the divine, but if we can sound this all together, we literally will be able to interface with the field of consciousness of the planet and create shift and change on the planet that will allow us to make an evolutionary leap in consciousness. And if people want to hear this sound, Jonathan, where would they go? I know you have it on your website. It's on our website, it's on CDs, it's on the instructional CD that uh, uh, accompanies the book, but if they go to thedivinename.com, they'll be able to hear a short little excerpt of it and see what this is like. 
And even though it may seem like an extraordinarily exotic and strange sound, it's something everyone can learn to make and experience. That's why I wrote the book, because it's so powerful and it's so important to learn at this particular juncture in time and space. And I think that's why it was given to you now, wasn't it? I like to believe so. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Goodbye. Bye-bye.